Let's look at what's going on in the National League right now. It's been fun. Uh, Bellinger and Yelich, obviously the MVP, and then Bellinger, you know, they came into today tied with 10 home runs. We just showed you that Yelich hit his 11th. Uh, they're both hitting quite well. <laughs> Who's going to finish, Frank, with more home runs this year? Yelich I have no idea, no. Honestly, the way Yelich is playing right now in that uh, homer-friendly ballpark, mm -hmm. I think it's going to be Christian Yelich. His offense is so balanced. He's got a, a true professional behind him in Braun. This guy's going to see pitches all year long, and he's gotten great with a selection of pitches at the plate. In that small ballpark, I see him having a bigger home run year than Bellinger by just a few. You know, uh, Frank, how many home runs would you hit in Miller Park in one season? Oh, I think I can do 50 there. Right now, he can do 50. I'd probably, no. yeah. <laughs> Who's going to run from me, though? I'm telling you right now. <laughs> we need somebody to run from that would be a, That would be an issue. That would be an no issue. No more Frankenstein boots. You know what I'm saying, Swish? <laughs> you know what Frank have bad feet, bro. You know what right. You don't have to run when you hit it over the fence. That's fucking job. It was like it was a barker that had to go and make some hot top sneakers and the spikes. <laughs> That's how bad it was at the end, KB. That's what he said. So, no, I don't know said. who's going to run for me. I might still swing, but I don't know who's going to run the for me. The whole thing, Big Hurt. That's all I know. <laughs> That's uh, all I know, too, right? Hey, sorry. So, we go there. Let's go back to, though, that Hater Bellinger was really course, fun. Yes. Right? Seventh inning, bases loaded. It's what you want, right? Two superstars going at each other. Take us through what happened. Yeah, well, obviously, biggest, biggest at bat of the ball game. There's sure. no doubt about it. And, and if we can run the tape, we can kind of go dig through the at bat right here. I mean, it, it, we missed to start off the at bat with a great fastball away. Get strike one. Continues to keep pounding the fastball, right? Fastball away. Fastball in, fastball away. Another fastball, right? Bellinger starts to get on top of that. That's the pitch that changed the bat around right there. That slider down got him a little off the fastball. And once again, the last pitch of the bat when Bellinger was looking for that slider that he saw on two pitches prior, he came back with the cheese. And when you're throwing 97 miles an hour and you're spotting that ball down and away, that's death for a left-handed it's, it's a It's a tough chore for lefties against that guy. He has the ball so well, he jumps yeah. on you at 97. Lefties really have no chance. He's one of those guys that you have to guess right as a left-handed hitter because I see right-handers. The ball jumps on right-handers the same way with him. But lefties... No shot. Yeah, and you see how right there, KB. I mean, if you're Bellinger and you you got a couple good fastballs to hit in that at bat. And a couple good swings. That's what I'm saying. That's the problem. If you miss that pitch against somebody like Hayter, who's literally throwing outside of your body, mm -hmm. it's so hard to get that good pitch again. I'm, against somebody like that, if you get your pitch, you can't miss I'm it. I'm curious about a hitter, though, right? So, like, and, and there was a very similar bat uh, last week at Dodger Stadium, base loaded with Turner up. It was the same thing. He threw only one slider the whole sequence. But is that one slider, Frank, just enough to get just in your enough. head to think? He like, hides the ball so well, and the ball rises at 97, 98 miles an hour. Uh, Bellinger is the hottest hitter in the game besides yeah, Yelich. Of course. And he looked very average against him. That's how dumbing this guy out of the bullpen. Well, the one thing I think Hayter's doing a great job of, and, and the thing I struggle most of, is pitchers throwing the same pitch off the same plane. If the fastball's coming off on this plane and the slider is as well with that dip late in the at bat, hey, you never know what's can't coming. Tell. At that point, you're guessing. Right? You can't tell. So let's start here. The Red Sox came in eight, ba eight back of the Rays in last place. Frank, you thought this was a pretty big series for Boston. It's a that. huge series for Boston. They cannot afford to get down nine or ten games back yeah. behind this team, this type of team, with the starting pitcher they possess. Because these guys believe in themselves. They won 90 games in this division last year. They're not intimidated of the Yankees or the Red Sox. So I'm, I'm, I'm betting at the farm this weekend. Boston has to show up. If, it, if the best they can do is sweep, and they need a sweep at this point. So yeah, well, especially the Rays' great start. You think it's big for them? Yeah, I think it's huge for the Rays, especially for what happened with Boston and New York. They kind of need to get it going on. But on the other side, these are games that you circle early in the season, right? You're not going to win the pennant or lose the pennant on these games. But you know what you're doing? You're setting these games up for September. You're letting the Boston Red Sox know exactly who you are. And let's be honest, man. Tampa hasn't exactly played murderer's row running down, you know, early in the season. But for them to be in the position they are right now with the great start that they have, the last thing that they want to do is let down against a team like the Boston Red Sox. Because like Frank said, if Tampa comes out and plays well in this series, Boston could be buried. You know, interesting, the Rays pitching has been great all year long, but tonight would have been a Blake Snell start. And it's just remember he dropped that granite thing <laughs> on his toe, toe. Broke his toe. I mean, they lost, but it's you know six four ball game. Oh yeah. That's how good yeah. this team Fun is. Fun game. Good game. So game one goes. The Red Sox, of course, they'll play tomorrow and Sunday as well.